Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of First 15 here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we're checking out Energy Hook. I spotted this game on a few distribution channel sites. I've spotted it on the American PSN store. And I'll be upfront and honest, I got this as a review code. I'm I I, I didn't pay for this game. Which you will be seen soon enough, maybe why. So yeah, main menu is really simple, six levels, most of them blocked off. Does anybody know what this is about, or what it was about before it even started? Let me lay it out for you. The guy who created the swinging mechanic in Spider-Man 2, yes, that's Spider-Man 2, the movie license game that was considered really well put together and actually had a very enjoyable swinging mechanic built into it which also happened to become kind of like uh, on like not an on reels but like an acrobatic kind of like test bed for you to actually be able to move around at the time it was really well put together it worked really well for how you could move around a room but that mechanic on its own has been kickstarted and turned into this a play park for jetpacks and energy beams that replicate Spider-Man webs. And it really, I don't know if this visually does justice to how I feel about this game. I, I don't like it. I really don't like it. It doesn't feel nice in any way, shape or form. It feels too fast and too loose at the same time as requiring a precision and it just doesn't it doesn't appeal to me so much I, I'm trying to actually think of words to say but just look at this thing this is a game that's available on the PSN network you can buy this game you can buy this but I, I, I don't recommend you do it feels so unbelievably unfinished it feels really, I mean, this game needs massive, massive amounts of attention. It needs a lot of upgrades. Oh, God, look at that flickering. Um, it feels like this is still a test bed game. It feels like it's random assets thrown together and a mechanics being tested out. It feels as bare bones as you could possibly get. Like, I mean, check this out. This is the, the actual mechanics for the challenges in it, where you have to actually score points by committing tricks in combos and chains, which is fine. Like, I mean, I I can get the kind of the nature of this as being like a high velocity, speedy, web swinging version of Tony Hawk's. I, I can understand that that's what this is meant to be, but it does not feel like that in any way, shape, or form. It's, oh, it is mildly upsetting, to be honest, really. Um, the thing is that this is all, this is all you really have access to whenever you start off. I'm, you can tell that I'm actually getting a little bit better with the controls. I'm actually managing to string a couple of moves together, not slam into walls quite so much, and figuring out how the scanning for, um, web lines actually works because you have to be within a range to kind of snap onto stuff it's it, this game visually doesn't explain how frustrating it is to play just by its um its looseness its floppiness i thought going to a different location might make this a little bit more interesting <laughs> check out this race that somehow I managed to get into and I have no idea how I'm actually f managing to finish it. Oh, camera angles are so frustrating. Oh, right. So moving around. <laughs> I, I, I don't have words for how difficult this all feels. And I can understand that essentially jumping through hoops, getting to a location, moving around. This is one thing. This is something that should be like in another game. Maybe Bionic Commando or uh, a Just Cause kind of like 
assault terrain kind of thing. This is not a full game unto itself. It, it, it's it's a proof of concept of a mini game, something that actually would be used in a wider context. This is hard to watch. It's uh, hard to watch and hard to play. Oh God! Right, I'm I'm I, that's, I need to cut this footage short. I would be completely remiss if I didn't actually like look into the options menu here. I mean, they look generic as hell, same as the main menu screens do and the collection screens. But you can at least well take a look and tune up your gear that you're using, your jetpack and your uh, electronic hook or whatever it is or energy hook. I mean, I'm sure these bits and pieces will actually allow you to upgrade further as you complete more missions in the game, but there, I feel no incentive to do so. Admittedly, the hook does have a few choices, but it's just the thing that I kind of find weird that the precision is something that you can turn up or down. Why wouldn't you want it to be as high precision as possible for whenever you're swinging? Is this actually like to set yourself your own challenge? And the fact that you can't return back to your game once you go out of that menu, you have to reopen and go back to the beginning of the level or back into the mission hub again to start off. That's, oh, man, there's there's dead ends in the menu system in the UI. There's, this this game requires a lot more playtesting. This game should not be released on the PSN store. I could, uh, early access on PC, yeah, I can probably understand that, but wow. Oh. Well, of course, this is. I chose this level to take a look at because it kind of closely resembles the way Spider Man 2 played. Just because it's tar blocks, which obviously are. Because this is all VR, you can get away with the fact that the tar blocks just repeat the same pattern and textures and then just stop dead on a black floor. Understandably, that might be the limitations of your um, modeling and stuff, dude, but these are big square blocks with a texture on them that repeats forever if this is the limit of what the game's level design is going to be I, I, I'm worried, I'm concerned I don't know what goes on after this there's a little bit of a feeling of freedom in this level because there's a nice verticality to it it means you can get that wall run going on you can actually really get the big swings in this is probably what feels closest to the Spider-Man 2 aesthetic whenever you're playing it, the ability to kind of just traverse really well. But even then, it still feels like there's issues. Like uh, the, way it, the way the jump works doesn't feel like you can connect high enough. There's a problem with like s jumping and swinging at the same time. The rocket boost um, speeds you up too fast. Man, there's literally so many things that just feel wrong in the gameplay of this. Oh, man. Uh, Fair play for taking something that you worked really well on, worked hard on, and trying to develop it into a single unique game type. Something that actually could be really fun, but I don't know. This, th Do you know what? I have an idea. This could work. This could work really interestingly if, say, this guy reaches out to Sega. Does anybody remember Burning Rangers? Burning Rangers was kind of a... Uh, it was an action kind of platform. It was out in the Sega Saturn. Really fun game to play. Amazing soundtrack, actually. That was just cheesy as hell. But the design of the character in this, like the very generic person in a jumpsuit, the backpack kind of reminds me a lot of the Burning Rangers soldiers or the firemen in that game. Could you imagine an open-world Burning Rangers game? that uses this as its traversal mechanic. That could be really interesting. Someone that actually gives you a reason to run from building to building, putting out fires, catching people that fall out of windows, that, that kind of thing. Things that give you that sense of superheroism, her, not superheroism, superhero, heroism that made Spider-Man feel really cool whenever he caught a balloon out of the air as he just swung by. Were, someone that gives an impetuous to this rather than actually just being a gen, like, what, what this, this feels like a tech demo for a mechanic. That's what this feels like. There's nothing else to this. But you wrap that around something like Burning Rangers as an open world traversal system. Wow. I would be so on board with that. But no. Instead, we're looking at this. Oh, God. I, I don't normally get upset about games. 
but it's whenever they, and especially whenever it comes to early access games, a lot of people get upset about games that are should be in early access but aren't. Or kind of like the the big argument people have with No Man's Sky at the moment that it, it really isn't a full price AAA game. It's just been priced at AAA because of the hype. This game should not be selling for any more than what, two three dollars, but it's obviously selling in like the the sixty eleven pound 60 11 or say 11 to 20 dollars price gap that's what that's what this is priced at man oh it, it makes it makes me have acid reflux talking about this game and watching it at the same time because <clears throat> i don't know if it's actually the the way it moves or the way the camera moves or the way the model reacts to sliding off of objects or landing on objects it's oh it, it makes me feel that a little bit ill on the inside uh, well, what what do we do? What do we do with a game like this, other than make suggestions of where where something this kind of cool could be used? I say that that was that's the example that pops in my head just from even like the way this already looks and how you could refine it and do something really interesting with it. Burning Rangers, a revival of Burning Rangers with this as a traversal mechanic, would be really interesting to me. I, I could get on board with that, especially if it allowed you to like launch yourself out. Like, if you still were able to use the ship from it as well to traverse around and then get yourself into a smaller area and then launch yourself out of it, Batman Arkham style. I, I, I'm I'm building a game now, <laughs> like just from the ideas. Who's to say that you couldn't go and make a game like that without actually having to have the license? But I'm pretty sure Sega haven't touched that thing in a long time and might be on board with it if you're a developer who has the experience of making stuff like this. Oh man, I, I think I, I think I might have to just call it at this point. I, might, I, I, I don't want to make you guys watch and feel nauseous along with me playing this. Oh god, guys, this has been energy hook for pastiche of skin. Uh, I'm I'm feeling horrible for making you watch that, but at the same time as I kind of wanted to point it out and come up with at least an idea of how it could be used in a really cool way. There's something there. There's something here. It just doesn't look like this. I feel bad for every single person who put money into a Kickstarter to back this. And this is the result they got out of it. That, of course, passed... This passed certification and planning for PSN as well. It, this, this game was already paid for before it was made. This is... This is actually mildly terrifying because it's a, it's a quintessential example of we as a group of people we demand one thing we don't really get it but we still defend it it's the main reason why people have been having arguments all day about no man's sky we may get what we want or we may not we may get a variation on it but we have to accept when it's just not good Alright guys, well that's been Passage of Skin, just having like a vlog commentary while playing Energy Hook. Guys, thank you very much for watching. There's a like button down there, there's a list like button right next to it if you disliked what I had to say about Energy Hook. If you have any thoughts about what this could be used for, like the whole Burning Rangers idea that I had, comment in the thread underneath and I'm, I really look forward to seeing what you guys think. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye